Queries Queries are the most important objects in a database and can perform many different functions. Their most common function is to retrieve specific data from the tables. The data you want to see is usually spread across several tables and queries allow you to view it in a single data sheet. Also, since you usually don't want to see all the records at once, queries let you add criteria to filter the data down to just the records you want. Queries can come in two basic varieties. Select Queries and Action Queries A select query simply retrieves the data and makes it available for use. You can view the results of the query on the screen, print it out or copy it to the clipboard. Or you can use the output of the query as the record source for a form or report. An action query, as the name implies, performs a task with the data. Action queries can be used to create new tables, add data to existing tables, update data or delete data. Macros in Access can be thought of as a simplified programming language which you can use to add functionality to your database. For example, you can attach a macro to a command button on a form so that the macro runs whenever the button is clicked. Macros contain actions that perform tasks, such as opening a report, running a query or closing the database. Modules Modules are objects used to add functionality to your database written in the Visual Basic for Applications or VBA programming language. A module is a collection of declarations, statements and procedures that are stored together as a unit. A module can be either a class module or a standard module. Class modules are attached to forms or reports and usually contain procedures that are specific to the form or report they are attached to. Standard modules contain general procedures that aren't associated with any other object. Standard modules are listed under modules in the navigation pane, whereas class modules are not. Working with tables The most important objects in a database are tables where data is defined and stored. Tables are composed of rows or records and columns of fields. Within each table, indexes can be defined. All other objects are based on and act upon tables. Tables are connected to each other by defining relationships. In this lesson, you will learn the basics of working with the table so that you can create, open, navigate, Add information and edit them. Tables and Field Properties Every table in Access is made up of fields and both of them have their own properties that you can set to define their attributes and characteristics. Table Properties In an Access database, table properties are attributes of a table that affect the appearance or behavior of the table as a whole. Table properties are set in the table's property sheet in Design View. For example, you can set a table's default view property to specify how the table is displayed by default. Field Properties The properties of a field describe the characteristics and behavior of data added to that field. Every field has its own characteristics. A field's data type is the most important property because it determines what kind of data the field can store. You can set any field's properties at the time of creation in Design View by using the Field Properties pane. You can set them later also in Datasheet View. Data Types in MS Access Every field has a data type. A field's data type indicates the kind of data that the field stores, such as large amounts of text or attached files. A data type is a field property, but it differs from other field properties. You set a field's data type in the table design grid, not in the field properties pane. A field's data type determines what other properties the field has. You must set a field's data type when you create the field. There are 10 different data types in access. Attachment Files such as digital photos can be attached to the record. This data type is not available in earlier versions of Access. 
multiple files can be attached per record. Auto number, numbers that are automatically generated for each record. Currency, monetary values. Date or time, dates and times. Hyperlink, hyperlinks such as email addresses. Memo, long blocks of text and the text that use text formatting. A typical use of a memo field would be a detailed product description. Number, numeric values such as distances. Note that there is a separate data type for currency. OLE object, an object supporting the OLE protocol for object linking and embedding. An OLE object from an OLE server can be linked or embedded in a field, form or report. For example, a Windows Paint picture, Word documents or a Microsoft Excel worksheet. Text Short alphanumeric values such as a last name or a street address. Yes or No Boolean values Table relationships Each table in a database stores data about a different subject, but these tables usually related to each other. For example, a database for inventory might contain a customer's table that lists your company's customers and their addresses, a product table that lists the products that you sell along with their prices and pictures for each of them, an orders table that tracks customer orders. Because you store data about different subjects in different tables, you need some way to relate the data stored at different places to combine it together. To connect the data stored in different tables, you create relationships. A relationship is a logical connection between two tables that specifies fields that the tables have in common. When you add a record to the orders table, you use a value for customer ID that becomes the customer's table. Whenever you want to view any information about a customer on the basis of an order, you use the relationship to identify which data from the customer's table corresponds to which records in the orders table. One of the advantages of Relational Database Management System or RDBMS such as Access 2010 is an easy setup tables and relationships. Open the Access Relationships by selecting the Database Tools tab on the Access ribbon. Then click the Relationships button. One at a time, select each table that you want to include in the relationship and click the Add button. After you've added the last table, click the Close button to continue. Data